All right, I'm finally ready to try this foundation. <laughs> this launched a while ago, and it launched at the same time as the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I ended up trying the NARS one first. I'm obsessed with it, and so I just didn't even wanna branch out and try any new foundations. But now, I've had plenty of time with the NARS foundation. I'm ready to try out the other viral foundation that recently launched, and that's the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. This went crazy on TikTok and everywhere, and it's interesting because people either love it or hate it, so I'm here to tell you how I feel about it. I'm so excited. I actually bought this myself in the shade 3 Neutral. And then a week or so later, I actually received a PR package from Charlotte Tilbury in the mail, and there are a couple more shades in here. So I'm gonna try out the one that I bought first, which is the shade 3 Neutral. That might be a little deep for me. I'm not sure yet. So this retails for $44. It comes in 30 shades. It says it has buildable medium coverage. It's supposed to hydrate, smooth, brighten, even plump. It's supposed to be long wear and vegan. It's supposed to give you just healthy looking skin. From what I've seen and from what I've read from like their website and everything, it's supposed to be a pretty glowy foundation. So I'm interested to see how that ends up working on me. I have normal combination skin. I am normally pretty normal on the cheeks, but in the T-zone, I do tend to get oily throughout the day. So a glowy foundation is sometimes a hit or miss depending on the formula, but this does claim to be long wear. So we'll see how it balances my skin by the end of the day. I think it's kind of funny on the packaging. It says the skin looks more radiant by up to 285% percent <laughs> like that's such a random percentage <laughs> but I'm here for it. I'm ready to look 285% more radiant. It has a plastic tube with a pump, which is really nice for travel, especially to not have to worry about glass. This type of packaging is really suitable for that. All right, I'm gonna find my shade right here with you guys. So this first one is too neutral. For a neutral shade, it's pulling a little bit more yellow than what I typically go for. Next, I'm gonna try three neutral right next to it, which is slightly deeper. Well, it's actually more yellow toned, it looks like. And then we've got number three, cool, which is supposed to have a cool undertone, which I normally don't go for, but maybe if these run a little more yellow, maybe this will actually be on the more neutral side. So there's number three, cool. I actually feel like that's the one that looks the best on me. Yeah, I feel like number three, cool, ended up blending a little bit better into my skin tone. They're all very similar, but I think I'm gonna try out number three, which is surprising. I never usually wear cool tone foundations. So I'm gonna start off by applying this with my foundation brush. I'm just gonna do one full pump on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take about half of that on my brush. This one is the Lawless Foundation Brush, and I'm gonna start to apply this all over the skin. This is actually more of a thicker formula than what I was anticipating when I was picturing this foundation. It almost reminds me of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. If you've ever tried that, which I know a lot of people have, it's kind of similar. It has a little bit more of a balmy, thicker texture. Like you can see as I'm moving my brush, it kind of grips a little bit more. I'm also gonna blend it down the neck a little bit. I'm just gonna gently press that into the skin using my sponge. So I would say that it gives a buildable medium coverage. I'm not gonna build it up too much because for me, I personally just like a nice sheer even layer when it comes to like an everyday foundation. And then I'll just use a concealer to spot conceal. So here's the difference. Here's the side that I don't have foundation on. Here's the side with foundation. You can already see there's a really nice glow to the skin. It's looking a little bit dry around here, like a tiny bit. But other than that, I really do like the finish right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same foundation to the other side of my face. By the way, I didn't put on any primers. When I'm trying a new foundation, I like to just wear the foundation by itself to really see how it works. Um, but I do have my basic skincare. I've got, you know, a moisturizer and sunscreen on, but nothing to necessarily extend the wear of this. So hopefully we'll be able to really see how the foundation wears on its own. It's really interesting to finally be able to try this out, especially since this NARS foundation had a lot of hype around it at the same exact time. I feel like now that I'm trying this one out, it's actually very, very different than the NARS foundation. It has a little bit more of a thicker texture to it. Not to say that it doesn't feel lightweight on the skin, but it's not as runny as the NARS one. And this one has a little bit more of a balmy feel to it versus the light reflecting foundation is very sheer, but very pigmented. This one is more balmy and more glowy. So here's the foundation all over the skin by itself. Obviously I'm gonna finish up my makeup and the most important thing today is gonna be our wear test. So I'm gonna quickly do my makeup. I'll come back and we'll see how it looks with the rest of my products on. 
and then of course we'll do a wear test. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, I just barely finished my makeup. I decided to not do setting spray or highlighter today so I can really see as best as possible how the foundation wears with other products that I'm already familiar with without trying to alter, you know, the longevity with other products. I kept my makeup pretty simple today because this is a foundation review. So if you wanna know what else is on my face, I'll have it in the description box down below. Let's get right into a wear test. I'm so excited to see how this wears. I actually really do like how this looks more than I thought I would. I was a little bit skeptical because of those people who said, oh my gosh, this is way too glowy for me. I thought there's no way that I'm gonna like this, but I actually really do like how it looks all over my skin. So I'm excited to wear it. The wear test is key though. So it's currently 2.20 p.m. I'm gonna wear this for as long as possible. I have a lot to do today too, so I'll probably be buzzing around, which I feel like is even better than just, you know, sitting down and not, you know, moving around a lot. I feel like when I'm having a busy day, I'm able to really see how a foundation holds up. So fingers crossed this works well for me, but there's only one way to find out. So I'll see you guys in a little bit for my very first check-in to see how this ends up working for me. All right, so I'm back in my studio. It's actually 1227. So I've been wearing this for 10 hours now. I am actually really surprised at how this looks. Obviously it is dewy in the center of my face and on the outside of my face, I do get oily in the T-zone. So it's not shocking when this happens during a foundation test because I don't touch up with powder like I normally do throughout the day so that I can really see how it wears. With that being said, I feel like it stayed put all day long, even though it's way more dewy than I would like, and I will touch up with powder so we can see how that would look. It didn't really get too dewy. I wrote down actually in my phone notes, it was around hour four that it started to look different than when I applied it. So for four hours, it looked the exact same. And then at hour four, it started to look a little bit dewy. And by hour seven, it started to look like this. The thing is though, by hour seven, it really hasn't gotten any more dewy than what it was three hours ago, if that makes sense. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised by this. I'm gonna go ahead and touch up with powders just so we can see how it would look if I were to have kept an eye on my oils throughout the day. I normally don't let my complexion get like this, but again, it's just helpful in foundation reviews to really see how something works without me trying to mess with the longevity. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Huda Beauty setting powder and let's do one half of the face first. So I'm just gonna start to press a powder right here. My nose is definitely more oily than I would like as well. Press a little bit on my chin. My chin is the only area where I feel like it's starting to separate slightly, which typically I can avoid separation or at least postpone it if I am keeping up on my oils because that's ultimately what separates my foundation at the end of the day is if it gets a little too oily. So there's the side that I've set it with. Here's the side obviously that is not set and it's definitely more shiny. I really do feel like I could get a much longer wear had I powdered it. Right now it's starting to look a little bit expired and broken up because it was left untreated and unpowdered. Besides that, it looks really nice to me. I don't know, I, I'm definitely surprised. I'll be honest, I was skeptical because I'm just so in love with the NARS foundation. And it's interesting because people who love the NARS foundation usually don't like the Charlotte Tilbury one. Now this isn't everyone, but this is just kind of a trend I've seen. And then vice versa, the people who love the Charlotte Tilbury one usually don't like the NARS one. The NARS foundation is definitely much more of a drier texture once it does dry down, where this one does have more of that balmy feel. I'm really surprised. I definitely do feel like I will wear this again. I personally feel like the NARS one gets a little bit better of a wear and it leaves me a little more balanced on its own versus this one. With that being said, I will be trying this out and actually touch up throughout the day so I can see how that holds up. So right now I still do like my NARS foundation slightly better for myself and just my preference. However, I'm pleasantly surprised by this and I will be wearing it again. I loved how fresh my face looked throughout the day. I kept seeing my my reflection in the mirror and just really loved how healthy my skin looked. And something else I wanted to note, sometimes with a more dewy foundation for me, especially if I'm not able to touch up or if I'm doing a review, by the end of the day, all I want to do is wash my face off because it starts to feel really gross on my face. And I actually noticed how the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation didn't feel gross on my skin. It didn't feel heavy or weird, even though it was more oily looking than what I wanted, my skin felt very comfortable throughout the day, which is something I wanted to make sure to point out. 
So yeah, as of right now, I would give this foundation probably an eight out of 10, just because I'm really pleasantly surprised at how much I liked it. I was ready to be disappointed by this foundation and I'm not, I'm excited to wear it again. However, I can't give it a 10 because this is still what's making me giddy right now. So if I had to choose only one, I would still go with the NARS, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted and let you know how this ends up sticking in my routine. I would love to hear it down below if you guys have tried either of these foundations, what you think, and please make sure to mention your skin type. Are you oily, combo, dry? I wanna hear from you guys and it always helps each other to read through the comments and see what's working for you and why. So if you're somebody who has super dry skin or super oily skin, that would be especially helpful. So be sure to leave a comment if you've tried these foundations. I wanna hear what you guys are thinking. Are you loving them? Are you hating them? Tell us in the comments. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.